friends. Star Scorecard Cheat Code 5.8. So 5.8 is 5.8 A, B, and C. All of these have to do with the same topic, okay? So just different degrees and different little vantage points. But it's all graphing. Three teaks. This is probably going to be like five videos total. Graphing is so important. Okay, look at like, ah, okay, you have to know how to graph. Graphing is probably going to be like five questions on your test out of 36. That's a lot. That's a big percentage. So this take specific is a coordinate plane, zero, zero. We've got to find the source of the coordinate plane, the x-axis and the y-axis. You have to know these things. So vocab, I want you to see all of the vocab for these three cheat codes is going to be the same vocab. I'm going to go through it thoroughly right now. And then for 5.AB and 5.AC, I'm going to kind of skim over it very quickly. The coordinate plane, this is the coordinate plane, all of it. And it has four quadrants. Quadrants, think like the number four in Spanish, cuatro. Quadrant one, two, three and four, okay? So what, you guys don't have to know quadrant one, two, three, four, but there are four quadrants, and you're pretty much, in this test, in fifth grade, gonna stick to quadrant one. Positive numbers, positive numbers. You can create the quadrant, the, 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 the coordinate plane, okay, by creating two number lines. You see how this is a number line? One, two, three, four, five, six, and it goes on infinity, and it goes negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and it goes on to infinity. Positive, right? Up is always positive, down is always negative. It's two number lines that happen to be perpendicular. Look where they meet. Zero, zero. Okay? So let me also start origin. That's your origin. Zero, zero. Another thing to think about the grid or the graph. Each intersection of these blue lines is a coordinate, okay? Each intersection is a ordered pair. Now, we're gonna get to coordinate, we're gonna get to ordered pair a lot in these videos. The bottom, the gist, okay, the, the, the thing that you have to understand is that an ordered pair is always in a parenthesis, okay? There's a comma in the middle. The first number is the x-axis. Do you see the x and the y? The first number is the x-axis. The second number is the y-axis. What does that mean? So let's look at this point right here. Does that line up with the 3 along the x-axis? Yes, it does. So it would be 3. This is our, our ordered pair, x and then y. 3, and then where does it line up on the y-axis? 4. So that point is 3, 4. And that's how you create with an ordered pair on a, or a coordinate. Okay? So x-coordinate here is 3. The y-coordinate is y. Or we should say, the, yeah, x-coordinate, y-coordinate. Okay? The ordered pair of the point. That is a point on the coordinate plane. Origin. The origin always is zero, zero. Okay, so that's our vocab. Question number one. Let's look at this. Okay, you're gonna have a lot of paper, a lot of graph, a lot of, lot of stuff to take in when you have these questions. Calm down, go slow. The table show, the table below shows the distance a turtle traveled over a period of eight minutes. Okay, this is a very big distance. <laughs> Um, okay, so now we have to find out which graph matches, which graph matches the points. So here's our number of minutes, here's our number of feet. Look at this. These are, this is your x value and your y value, okay? Number of feet right here, your y. So zero, 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 zero. 4, 1, and then 8, 3. Let's start with 0, 0. We're, we got to be 0, 0, 0, 0. We're all 0, 0 here. 4, 1 
over 4, because we do our X first. Remember, X always comes before Y. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay, and then up 1. Oh, 1, 2, oh, so we're right here, and we're right here. These are correct. A is not correct. And then 8, 3. Let's look at 8, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2. That is not. That's 8, 2, right? 8, 2, and we want 8, 3. So look, he had a slow start, but in the next four minutes, he sped up a lot. Start off. So here it is. This graph is what we want. That's our correct answer. All right. Look at the coordinate plane below. Okay, the coordinate grid, the coordinate plane, it's the same thing. This is a table. It's got your X value, and then it has your Y values, right? Which of the following points is closest to 1, 6? So let's find 1, 6 first. All right, let's find 1, 6. We're going X first and then Y. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is point 1, 6. Okay, which, which is closest? K is closest or L? K is closest. F is our answer. All right. We're going to pause here. We're going to start the next video and, and, and just do the questions then. Thanks, guys.